All right, we're back. Not quite sure what happened with that. I'll probably put a little note on the previous broadcast that we got cut off. I've been having some issues Comes with, uh, with the Twitch crashing. Ball, oh. two down. Well, nobody's in that dugout is going to give him high five for striking out. But, you know, at least he forced that starter to expend a lot of energy here to get the job done. You know, in the first inning, that won't be lost on his teammates. Matt Holliday will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. Now he swings and hits this ball on the ground. Throw on to Carter, gets him to retire the side. I'm not quite sure of all the, the XP, exactly how that's going to factor into things. I guess there's going to be something unlocked that, that kind of go into everything. Um, I'm assuming you have to rank up or something along those lines. Maybe it helps out with some, some of the online uh, matchmaking or something like that, the skill-based stuff. And the Cardinals behind him will look like this defensively. Dexter Fowler is he'll be the one to commence the action in the bottom half of the first. Center fielder, Dexter Fowler. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. And this is swung on and sent on the ground to first. Oh, it's going to be close. And safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Never an easy play right there. Just trying to hit your pitcher in stride when you know it's going to be a close play at the back. And this time the flip comes up just a little too late, and that's an infield single. Jose Altuve All right. will that. stand in now, and he'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. In there, strike one. And here, you've got good speed on base and at the plate. So, on a ground ball, it's not a foregone conclusion. You're going to get an out anywhere. Swing and a ball chop foul down the left side. Pitch one oh. on and sent on the ground to short. Oh, no. That'll be a base hit as well as it's through into left, and they've got something cooking here in the bottom of the first. And the runner will hold at second, so two on with nobody out. Good start to I wonder the if they counted that as an error. Back singles have them in a good position to push across that first run of the afternoon. Jason Castro will stand in. See if Jason Castro can come up. Short lead from second, now the pitch. And he hits the this guy the seems pretty content to sinker, strike one. Now at two on, nobody push things through right across the plate. Strike out double play out there on the mound. One of the other is what you really need. Grounded foul off to the right side. Here's a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Let's try to be defensive here. Another 0-2 now from Wainwright. And this is hit hard to oh. the right side. Foul. None out. Runners at first and second. Here's a swing. Way out heads front. up. As he had to hit the deck for dear life that time. Yeah, a little bit of choppiness. Some frame rate issues. And the sinking oh. fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Yeah, and sometimes all it takes is just one good sequence to get your groove going out there on the mound. I mean, he's still in a little bit of a jam out there, but hopefully for him, the strikeout will help loosen him up a bit. Chris Carter will take his first cuts of the ball game here. And 
now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Mm. But a foul ball Definitely going to take a little bit one. to get my timing down. Runners are at first and second with one away. <clears throat> Line hard into left. And that's down in front of Holiday for a base hit. And a relay to the oh. plate. The tag. Neat. And he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. Mark Krauss will be the batter. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. On to first, and the Astros can't cash in as that ends the inning. And That's tough. Alan Craig leads things off now in the top half of the second. Let's see if I can have a little more productive inning pitching-wise. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Curveball, and he couldn't get on top of it as this has popped up behind shortstop. And it's a fly out to start the second one away. All right, I'm going to have to turn off the auto fielding, too. Always makes me nervous when they call for a high curveball. And that's inside for a ball, 1 0. Adams certainly did enough last year to stake a claim to the but starting first base. For this Scott game, I typically do. I don't really argue too much with the uh, little indicator from the catcher. In the air back it's typically pretty good. VR, and there are two away now. Yadier Molina will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. And he tries to hold back Oof. on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Didn't look like that cutter cut. And no shortening up here on 0 and 2. He drills this one into right center, and that's going to find the alley for extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. They had him in the hole 0 and 2. They worked him down in the zone with both of the previous pitches, and I believe that's where they wanted to go on the third one, but it wound up right down the heart. He whacked it for a double. John Jay will stand in as he'll get a break from playing the field and be the DH here in this one. Yeah, it's a nice luxury to have here in an interleague ball game. You give him a little bit of a break from the field, but you still keep that big bat in the lineup. Opposite field to left, and that's in there. Base hit, and he's not stopping as third base coach Jose Akendo is waving him in. And the opening salvo is fired here as they take a one to nothing lead. Good time here to come up with back to back Don't hits. Know why showing the mound right the there. Two out double to put a man in scoring position, and then they're able to All right. follow that up and cash in with the RBI single here. I have to get serious now. Colton Wong is in with two away as he takes a ball one and zero. But the way I look at it, the lose. Not hey man, here comes the playing with the Astros. Swinging the ball hits softly on the ground. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. 
two hits here in the inning lead to a run for the Redbirds. On now to the bottom of the... Matt Dominguez will start things off in the bottom of the second. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Dominguez with a high fly oh, ball. Go on. Out to deep left field. And the home half of the second begins with a home run. A solo That's one thing about the show that I've always really enjoyed. It's kind of like there's no way to really piece. truly get that feeling of hitting a home run. But <laughs> something about the way that it, the sound and the connection, when you really stroke one... It, it, it actually feels really cool. Well, normally, when you hear guys talking about pitches that hang, you know, they're talking about the curveball, maybe a slider. But this is a cut fastball. It just hangs. You see it there. Just right out over the heart of the plate. He doesn't miss it. Robbie Grossman digs in at the plate. On the ground towards second. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. LJ Hose will dig in with one in and one away. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole, and he'll let it fly from deep in the hole. Oh. On to first, and it's dropped. Let's take a look at that play at first here in show motion. Close to making a great save here. You can see him try to backhand it, but it doesn't quite want to stay in the glove. Yeah, I can't say that I'm truly impressed by all the, the facial features and stuff. Doesn't quite look as good as I would hope. Jonathan Villar will Man, stand it looks in good, with a run but... in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Just not as impressed as I thought I'd be. And this is hit hard on the ground at first. Peralta for one. And we're going to have ourselves a little discussion about that call as here comes the skipper out of the first base dugout. It looked from up I'll here that the shortstop had the ball but dropped it on the transfer. What's and the you little can see dust the umpire cloud saying above. just that very thing. But I believe the manager has a hmm. dissenting opinion here, so he'll have his say out there before he returns. Like some sort of ghostly apparition hanging out over second base. Dexter Fowler huh. will stand in. He singled All the lead right. off the home first. And this is lined into left field, and that'll get down for a base hit, his second of the afternoon. Just getting deeper and deeper into trouble here. That's five hits against him now in an inning and two-thirds. And I think he'd like nothing more than to get out of this second inning and sort of reassess what's going on out there. Now this pitch is lined into left mm. center field. That's a base hit. Nickel and Dominum. And a relay home. I've got to turn and off this auto base running. Out at the plate. <laughs> and that'll keep our ball game tied up. <laughs> get a run of the inning on the long ball from Matt Dominguez. We play two, all even now at 1-1. I don't remember that being a default, even in the lowest of difficulties. That's two that the auto base running is hosed me. Cut fastball taken for strike one. Just like the real Astros, I'm gonna do my damnedest to keep this from going to the bullpen. You don't want those guys coming in there. In. Strike two. And I know it's your first at bat of the ball game, and you want to work the count a little, but those were two pretty good pitches to have a rip out. 